In this short video, we'll look at proportional derivative or PD design. Uh, we'll, we'll look at uh, this PD design with the help of an example. Here we have a planned transfer function, the one divided by s plus one times s plus two times s plus three, and the transient requirements here are the peak time should be pi by two seconds, and the settling time should be 5.75 seconds. Now you note that uh, PD controller is used to get a desired uh, transient uh, requirement um, that essentially means you make the root locus go through um, a desired uh, closed loop poles make the, make the root locus go through desired uh, closed loop poles in the complex plane so essentially you are bending the root locus with uh, PD unlike the PI where you don't bend the root locus so the controller is of this form uh, the d of s is equal to kp time kp plus kd times s this is the proportional part this is the derivative part um, you can also write this as kd times s plus zc where zc is the location of the zero of the controller and the location of the zero of the controller is given by kp divided by kd so the, we look at the transient uh, response uh, so uh, peak time is equal to pi by 2 seconds implies that the damp natural frequency equal to 2 and the settling time equal to 5.75 seconds implies that zeta omega n is equal to 0.8 as we know the closed loop pole uh, location for a second order system is minus zeta omega n plus or minus i times omega d now here uh, the actual system is not a second order system it's a third order system but we are just designing for the dominant uh, second order uh, closed loop pole pair that's why we can use this approximation so um, here sd1 d2 is minus 0.8 plus or minus 2i now that's where 0.8 uh, plus on plus 2i is located right here and minus is the uh, minus 0.8 minus 2i is located uh, down here which is a, a mirror reflection of uh, this pole uh, about the real axis now if you notice this pole doesn't lie on this root locus so no matter how much you change the gain and this root locus is never going to pass through this um, closed loop poles that's why we are going to modify the root locus using the PD controller so if this is the PD controller the this is the location of the closed loop poles uh, we'll put a, the controller zero right here now the combined transfer function now should uh, be such that SD1 satisfies the characteristic equation. The characteristic equation now is given by 1 plus D times G. Eval now if you evaluate uh, this characteristic equation at S equal to SD1, you should get a 0. This essentially means D times G evaluated as S equal to D1, which is the desired closed loop uh, pole location, is equal to minus 1. If you take angle on both sides, so angle of uh, D at s equal to d1 plus angle of g which is a plant function at s equal to d1 is angle of minus 1 which is 2n plus 1 pi so n equal to 0 1 2 3 up to infinity uh, that essentially means that uh, if you add the angle if you add 2 pi to the uh, angle it's essentially the same so uh, angle of D is basically the angle of SD1 minus ZC, which we'll call alpha C, which is 2n plus 1 pi minus angle of G eva evaluated at S equal to DG, D1, which we'll call phi G. That is this angle right here, this one. Okay. Now let's uh, draw where phi uh, alpha C is. Alpha C is the angle that uh, the vector ZC uh, SD1 minus ZC makes with the positive direction of the x-axis uh, this is the distance ZC that is zeta omega n that is the real part of the uh, desired closed loop pole location that is omega D that's the imaginary part of the desired closed loop pole location therefore we can write an expression for ZC as zeta omega n plus this little distance here which is omega d divided by tan of alpha uh, c this should be alpha c here now phi g i get by evaluating the angle of g at s equal to 0.8 plus 2.0 i 
and that is that angle here remember that uh, g was s plus 1 times 1 divided by s plus 1 times s plus 2 times s plus 3 I can use MATLAB to find the angle you can use a calculator to find the angle as well the phi g is 3.044 radian alpha c is pi minus 3.044 which is 0 0.0977 radian and zc is zeta omega n plus omega d divided by tan alpha c which is uh, zeta omega n is 0.8 and omega d is 2.0 and tan alpha is tan alpha c is tan of 0 0.0977 radian this is 21.21 and then once you're done with that you know the location of the zero now you need to find uh, the the parameter kd kd is given by one divided by gl of s at s equal to evaluated at d1 now gl is nothing but the original trans uh, plant transfer function multiplied by the transfer function of the zero sans the uh, the derivative uh, parameter kd so we get kd equal to 0 0.6797 and i just plotted the the root locus the modified root locus with the pd compensator that is this one the blue one on top of the original root locus uh, of just the plant with the proportional controller right here as you can see the compensated plant passes through minus 0.8 plus 2i so it passes through the desired closed loop pole location that's good and i just plotted the step response of the closed loop feedback uh, system so if you notice uh, the peak time is at 1.78 and if you can recall uh, i wanted my peak time to be equal to pi divided by 2 pi is 3.14 so 3.14 divided by 2 is uh, around uh, 1.6 something so the, the difference is because I was eyeballing uh, on the graph so there's a small difference and if you look at the settling time TS is 5.75 now if you look at these two lines here that those are the line the, those are the error bands for 1% 1 1% steady state error uh, so the steady at steady state the response goes and settles right in between these two lines and the first uh, location where this response enters this band and never leaves the band is right about here which is around maybe 5.6 or something like that which is very close to our desired uh, settling time 5.75 and therefore we have completed the PD design.